Before starting, make sure you have all necessary supplies nearby. These include the AB Max unit, fully charged, disposable sponge tips, alcohol wipes, eyelid foam cleanser of your choosing, sterile buffered saline for rinsing, tissues and or paper towels, and anesthetic drops such as preparacaine or tetracaine. Before any procedure, informed consent should be given. Explain the process and answer any questions the patient may have. Obtain the patient's signature and date to ensure consent. Prepare the AB Max by cleaning the handpiece and the reservoir with alcohol prep. Allow it to dry completely. Fill the reservoir with lid cleanser. Usually one or two pumps is sufficient. Then prepare the patient by reclining the chair slightly. Make sure the doctor or technician is comfortable when performing the procedure. If you are performing the procedure from a seated position, it is best to lay the patient flat. Next, instill one drop of anesthetic into each eye. Allow the patient to dab with a tissue and wait about one minute before beginning the procedure. Carefully load the sponge tip onto the AB Max handpiece and soak in the reservoir for 10 to 15 seconds. Press and hold the power button on the handpiece for several seconds. The tip will begin to rotate in a forward motion and the green F light will illuminate. Beginning with the right lower lid, ask the patient to look up, away from the rotating tip, and apply the tip to the outer lash line with firm pressure. Use your non-dominant hand to apply lateral pressure to the eyelid so as to keep it taut while treating. Move the tip back and forth, nasal to temporal and temporal to nasal, until you have cleaned the entire lid margin. This should take approximately 20 to 30 seconds. Next, press the power button again and this puts the AB Max into reverse mode and the yellow R light will illuminate. Repeat the process as before for another 20 to 30 seconds along the same outer lid margin. Reverse mode allows removal of debris that may have been missed in forward mode. Press the power button one more time to access pulse mode and the blue P light will illuminate. Pulse mode allows for treatment of stubborn areas that may persist after treating with forward and reverse modes. During the procedure, if excess foam should build up in or around the eye, ask the patient to gently close their eyes and wipe away the excess with a clean tissue. When the lower outer eyelid is finished, instruct the patient to look down. Repeat the procedure on the upper outer lid margin. After thoroughly cleaning the upper outer eyelid, Press the power button to turn the unit off. Remove and discard the used tip and load a new, clean AB Max tip onto the handpiece. Soak the tip and repeat the procedure on the left eye. After all four outer eyelids have been treated, turn the unit off. Discard any used sponge tips and place the handpiece back into the charging station. Thoroughly rinse the eyes and eyelids with sterile buffered saline solution, being careful to prevent the excess fluid from running down the patient's face by using clean tissues or paper towels. Following the procedure, some doctors instill a drop of topical antibiotic steroid combination solution into each eye as prophylaxis. It is typical to schedule a follow-up visit for patients after performing the AB Max procedure. This can be done in two to four weeks depending on the patient and the office. Patients should be encouraged to continue any home therapy, including the use of artificial tears, lid scrubs, and warm compresses as needed.